Watch out. Someone up there is throwing coconuts around. It's this little fellow. His name is Kai Dao, which is Thai for fried egg. And Kai Dao is not throwing coconuts, he's picking them. For Monkey Master Niran Wong Wanit. Hey. Kai Dao is ten times faster at this job than any human, and especially for getting the fruits from these tall trees, he's invaluable. Without the monkeys, I couldn't do this job. I can't climb up there myself. I would have to wait until the coconuts drop from the trees naturally, but then they're too old and you can't sell them anymore. With Kaidao's help, Niran earns around 25 euros a day and sometimes even more. And as with every job, work experience is key. And Kaidao has it. He knows exactly which coconuts are ripe for picking and which ones have to stay on the tree. It takes a lot of discipline and training to become a real coconut expert like Kai Dao. But Niran Wong Wanit is a patient teacher. He learned the trade from his father. He says that each monkey is different, so that means a new challenge every time. <laughs> Some monkeys always clinch their fists, so I have to find a way to make them open their hands. Others will always crouch and only look down. I constantly have to adapt. I can use the knowledge I got from my father, but I also need to come up with new ideas and solutions all the time. It's exciting. I learn new things every day. And it's worth the effort. These two little rascals here are each just over a year old. Once they're three, they can start their training and it'll take them about 40 days to reach proficiency. Then, depending on how good they are, they can sell somewhere between 400 and up to almost 2,000 euros. But for Niran Wang Wanit, it's about much more than just the money. For him, the monkeys are like family. He can't understand the criticism from some animal rights groups which say the animals are being tortured. It's not torture. It's more like working together. I don't hit or mistreat them. When they're tired, we take a rest. If they didn't feel like working or are lazy, they would stop. But they like it. Even if I don't tell them to work, they do it anyway. That shows that they're having fun. I love them like as if they were my children. I love them a lot. Sometimes when I go out, I take them with me on my motorbike. And the dog too. We all go out together. Kai Dao and the other monkeys help Niran Wong Wanit make a living and, thanks to them, going to work every morning, for him, feels like play. <laughs>